answer questions. That's what makes a show. Right. Talking to people. <sighs> Do you see people writing into your show? You should yeah, talk to them. Ask, them. ask them what's what. Are you live right now? We're live, we're live. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Mike Marino. I'm so happy to be here on the Greg Carlucci Show. We're going to have some serious questions being asked from fans and friends right there and Facebook Live and from him while I'm being interviewed this show. And I'm going to try to do it right here on my feed too, but I'm having a problem. So maybe somebody can write in and tell me exactly how to do it. I'm going to share it on your line. That's all right. No, we're going to do my way so that my fans can write into the show. Where the fuck is the fucking thing? <laughs> this is what happens every time. Where Never happens to me, man. As soon as I turn my phone on, I'm fucking rolling. I'm gonna put it on. Uh... Guys, we had to redo this. The dog fucking was all over Mike. I had to put him in the a room. The dog ate his homework. I, can't, I I've never put my dog in the room doing a show. I had to do it. He was bothering us. And then he moved the camera. I just couldn't take it anymore. How am I sharing it with you now? You, you're sharing it on my regular page. Did I share it? No, I don't know. Share on friend's timeline, there you go. So, I can't share on your, on your fan page? I don't know. So how is everybody out there? Mike likes to interact. It's what we do. I, I can't. Michael Dean Marino doesn't want people to post in their timeline. You can try sending us a direct message. It doesn't matter. I'll put it on afterwards. Fuck it. We only got a half hour, so we're gonna do an interview. Let's go. All right. Bring so, it on. Doesn't matter who writes in what. God bless you, everybody. Love you. Welcome to the Carlucci Show. Uh, take two. Without my poor baby downstairs in my room. Um, no, no uh, intros, no nothing. We're just going right at this. So when Mike's ready to go, we're I'm ready to go. Are you gonna film it now? Instagram? I'm trying. I can't fucking find what I was supposed. To. I don't know what the hell happened to my phone. It got jinxed when I walked into this room. I usually just hit some fucking button and people are writing in hundreds and hundreds of questions. And now I can't. It won't even go sideways. Mm -hmm. This is my worst angle. I would never do an interview fucking face in this way. Why didn't you put the camera over there? Oh. This is the best interview I've ever done. Fuck the Tonight Show. I can't stand all of that shit. This is where you want to go. You, you... A dog you, was eating me. You are the first person to ever complain about that angle. The only reason why I have this angle like this is because it gets us both in. You can't go from the side. That's weird. I, I, I really wish I could find out why I can't go live on my Facebook bullshit. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the fuck happened. Mike, I told you we can share this video live on Facebook. Yeah, but I I'm can't sorry. answer my fans on your, your thing. I can only answer them on this. How long and that's you? where you get all those conversations. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what makes an hour fly by in 10 minutes. Well, now it's 20 to 9, so you know, we don't want to... You know, I, I, can, I'm, I live here, so I can be here all night, but I don't want to keep you. You know what? I'm going to go on Instagram then. Fuck it. Fuck it. And now I can't even get Instagram. There it is. There it is. Here we go, everybody. Here, look. You watching? Watch this. Can you see is it coming at you or both or me? Now it's checking the connection. You're now live. Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's me, Mike Marino, live from my mother's basement. But I'm not in my basement right now. Yeah, I'm on the Greg Carlucci show. Watch this. He says it all the time, the Carlucci show. What's up, guys? Mike Marino fans. It's the Carlucci Show, it's not the Greg Carlucci Show. And this is the Carlucci Loft, not your mother's basement. So, Mike's up here now, he's not down here. You've raised yourself. I raised the bar. you raised and the now, bar. Now, we are in a beautiful area of Long Branch, New Jersey. You can hear and the I'm ocean. happy, we can hear the ocean. I'm so happy to be here on the Carlucci Show, sharing with some friends. Yo, Ben, loving it. How you doing? What's up, crazy? What's up, Nick? How's everybody doing today? We're having a serious... Thank you so much for everybody for waving. I want to show Greg, the Carlucci Show, how it happens like this, which is a lot of fun because we want to talk to these people. We yeah, want these people to know up. that there's two Italians in a loft in the middle of the ocean. Except I'm the one with dark hair. Fun. I don't have any hair. Yeah. See how nice this is? No, I know. All right, look. 
See all the thumbs up. Hey, my hey, what's up, guys? What's going up, Deluca? How you doing? This is hello from Canada. Hey, yeah. we miss Canada. Canada. I remember last time I did my show, there was someone in China. They're like, hello from China. That's pretty cool. I get Australia. There's someone from Australia watching right now. So Greg has some intense questions that he wants to ask me while we're sitting here in the loft. He has this gorgeous dog. Let's talk about the dog real quick, if you don't. We had to cut. Tell everybody. We I have a adopted pit bull mix, and we had to. Uh, Cut. We did about 20 minutes, but Mike wasn't there, so to speak. He wasn't all there because the dog kept playing with his feet. The dog had his toy in his hand, in his mouth. So I got aggravated. I just shut it off. And then other dogs in the room. So now we can do a show. We'll do a half hour show. The truth of the matter is, he has a very big dog. <laughs> and the dog scared the shit out of me. I don't understand why you're scared. I played dog. with the dog for a little bit, but his mouth was bigger than my head. You're the only and one And while he was interviewing dog. me on the show, the dog's Choppers were right by my nuts. So I polite, politely said, um, I can't answer any of these questions because I'm in fear of can. my life. But now you can. Now we can do whatever we want to do. So Michael, right here Michael Marino. Here comes the questions. Let's do a nice quick shout out from mm -hmm. Greg to one of uh, our good friends, Mike Lucas. As you can see, Mike, I'm wearing this shirt. What is that? On the color of shop. Car care. Nice. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay, so a couple of waves, and now let's share with everybody the fun that we're about to have for the next two hours here yeah, my ass. On, on the ocean front. It's beautiful, it smells like sand out there, it's nice. Why didn't you go to the beach today? You said you were going to come down and go to the beach. Well, because I was at home working in my house, right. doing some uh, um, publicity for a couple of shows that I'm going to be doing this week while I'm here on the Jersey Shore. Don't forget, I can bring your picture upstairs, you got to sign it when you leave. You're over there, cool, man, right? there Flex. Yeah, I'm on the wall. Remember Flex 24? Flex 24 was a company that I was the face and the voice of, but uh, they went out of business, so I'm not, I'm not part of that anymore. <laughs> hey, Corner Hall, how you doing, man? It's nice to see you. Bronx is in the house. What's up, Bronx? You gotta love the Bronx, right? I love the Bronx. Have you ever been to the Bronx? Do you hang Bronx out there? I've been to Bronx, man. Bronx, I had uh, Giovanni Paolo on the show. Who? Uh, Giovanni Paolo from Mama's Boys of the Bronx. How cool is that? And uh, who's our boy from the Bronx? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Peter Gordio. Peter Gordio. And also Only Nick guys. Kisparo from mm -hmm. the Bronx. Now, if you go to the Bronx, there on uh, Arthur Avenue, there's this, of course, Italian uh, pastry the real, shop. Well, as G Giovanni says, not to interrupt you, but the real Little Italy. The real Little Italy. Yeah, the real Little Italy. But there's oh, a pastry yeah. shop there, and yours truly's face is on the wall. So not only is my face on the wall here really? on the Carlucci show, but my face is on the wall in a really nice pastry shop on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, and I'm pretty happy about that. How you doing, everybody? Thanks for writing in. Thanks for watching, guys. This is like a little bit of a double show. I wanted to do something on Facebook, but for some reason or other, I couldn't find my Facebook Live something something button. I fucked the whole thing up. But right now we're on the uh, the Instagram. My pink. What is it? The pinky up, right? Yes, you gotta put your pinky up when you sip your tea. Mm. Mr. Carlucci is having tea. some tea. Green tea. You can see he's a bodybuilder, he's very strong. And a bodybuilder, strong guy like this, always has what? A pit bull. A big <laughs> fucking pit bull that scares the living bejesus out of you. He's when adopted. He comes to he's Come adopted. On. He's a baby. I feel even worse now. He's a baby. And now he's in my room. And he's crying. <laughs> well, we're going to do this for a little while. But let me explain we'll then what we're going to do really quick. You know, I've been doing, Mike's done my show twice. Mike did it in 15. We were in a studio up in Hasbrook Heights. We actually did a radio show. And then you came to my house in uh, Ewing, New Jersey, what, a year and a half ago, two years ago? Yes. Two summers ago it was. Holy shit. Um, and then we're doing it again. We're not in a studio. I've been doing this shit for nine years. I'm done with this whole, like, podcast and crap. You know, I can upload this. I'm just doing this on camera, on Facebook, on as much as I don't like it. YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of stuff for now. So Mike's freaking out because he's like, wait a minute, we're not on the radio? What about the microphone? This is $700 worth of equipment. I actually never said anything about the radio. You don't even fucking mean this. Mike, Mike, this we're is doing this. bullshit. Look, this guy's got eight dogs. This and the other guy awesome. is saying that Instagram is the place to be. And the other guy is saying North Jersey got the best pizza. Yeah, and that's go. what we're looking to hear. That's boy. what we're looking to talk about. Yeah, you're, you're, we're we're uh, right next to each other. Scotch Plains, BH, you know it. Good shit. Hey Vito, how you doing? Mike, how you doing? It's nice to see everybody. You're looking strong. I hope everybody's having a great night. We're down here on the Carlucci show. On the, the Jersey North. Shore, on the beach. That's right, Vito. So I'm looking at you waving in how nice that is. Make sure you guys go to and watch the show. What's the show? The Carlucci show. 
www.thecarlucciShow.com. Got to get back into it. Basically, it's 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 going to be on my YouTube channel. It's The Carlucci Show at YouTube. Just go there, and then I'm also The Carlucci Show on uh, Instagram. You'll see all that there. You got Facebook people Live. running writing in right now asking if we're going to come to Nashville, Tennessee. Let's That's go. right. The Carlucci Show with Mike Marino. This is actually better. Nashville. Let's just do it like this. I disagree with you, but I actually like it. There you go. Let's do it like this. Fuck There's you. the comedy priest who's saying hello. Sue's saying hello. Hey, Sue. How Joe? How we doing, everybody? Welcome to The Carlucci Show. Wow, man. Here on the loft. This guy. Look at this guy over here. I told you. My God. Come back to Syracuse. Oh, we can't wait to come back to Syracuse. And when I come back to Syracuse, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to bring Greg. I'm nice. going to put him on stage. He's going to host the show. He's going to make everybody laugh. Amen. And then you can be interviewed on this show. Not the Greg Carlucci show. It's the Carlucci, Carlucci show. show. That's the way you say it. Here's yeah. Mark. Mark is from Toronto, Canada. Tell him to go Mark. to the... I have a website, thecarluccishow.com. You'll see all the pictures from... Uh, shit. 2010 until now. All the celebrity guests. All... All your uh, competitors in the comedy business. We can get into that. Look at this guy. LG Food Fashion Fun. Nice. Oh, it's a female. Thank you so much. She said she loved my show in Connecticut. I got to get back out to Connecticut again. Look at everybody. Teresa from Wall, New Jersey. Hey, how you doing, Teresa? From Wall, New Jersey. We're not too far from Wall. You yeah. know where we are, right everybody? Up, right up the... Uh, the river. The we're up, no, we're not up the river. We're by the ocean. And you know what? What else we're near? The original hot dog. What am I thinking? Windmill. Windmill. The original windmill. Is that the original and windmill? I think it's the original windmill. Right. And not only is the, the original windmill, what's down the block from that, but Max's hot dogs. Nice. We're gonna go there. We're gonna take the dog. Pure village. I'm gonna have one hot dog. Mike, is this He's a date for us? Hot dog. Is this a and date tonight? The dog is gonna have 48 hot dogs. We're gonna walk my dog and boardwalk together. Bigger than fuck. <laughs> we are. Shirt fits good. I'm wearing the shirt of this guy who gave it to me. I love this fucking what shirt, is man. It's it a shirt? No, no. This shirt is from a uh, company Damn, that uh, uh, car care, uh, Croftgate Car Care, and they put wax on your car. You, you can wax your own car. Right. I don't have the information in front of me because I'm on his show. I forgot to bring it with me, but uh, look, some fans from Cleveland, Ohio. What's up, nice. Cleveland? Figures nice. you're so close to me. I'm a flight attendant stuck in Newark, New Jersey. That's awesome. Come on. <laughs> she's hot. That's what she's hot. Are you hot? Greg wants to know. Yeah. Me, I'm a nice guy. I don't want to know. Oh, about come on. That's I want to let the dog out of the Before we went on the air, that's how you were talking. We were the come strippers. On. Look at these guys he asking him why we have no strippers on the show. We do. He does. They're downstairs. They're downstairs. I haven't called them up yet. Yes, the They're dog. They're scared of my dog. <laughs> I feel so bad that my dog's in the room right now with the door shut. I do. Mike Marino made me put my dog in the room. I feel bad. Look, they're laughing. The dog's going to eat 48 hot dogs. I would love to have a hot dog right now. I'm going to have to take us both to go to the But listen, now. we're having a lot of fun. We're answering all these questions. Eco-friendly detail products. Thank you very much, Mike. Mike, say exactly what your product is so that everybody who's reading right now right. can see it and also put up your website as we're going to continue putting up the website of the Carlucci Show. All right? I love it. All right. So we're so going to get into this. You we're going to get into on. some intense questions now. There you go. Look at There he goes. Dude, I'm telling you. This I, is what I do. Mike Marino for president. Thank you very much. Well, that's, what, that's where I'm going with this. My there first question, we got into it. We started, but it, it obviously didn't go the way we wanted to because the dog started playing with you. But I had asked Mike. I don't know who I'm talking to. The Facebook Live or your audience. I'll talk to your audience. Anyway, anyway. Basically, what I was saying is I wish George Carlin was still alive. Yes, I'm comparing you to George Carlin. You like that? Is that a compliment? He's comparing me to George Carlin. Unbelievable. It's now, a, you guys all know out there, George Carlin was still alive. The shit that he'd have to say about the environment today in America. Now, with Mike using this whole, you know, make America Italian again and the Italian president and stuff. Since he may be running for president, it's a rumor that we've all heard, I asked him, what is Mike Marino's opinion of what the fuck is going on today? Because everybody watching right now, if everybody would fight, because one person's on one side, you all know what I'm talking about. This one hates the Trumps, this one hates the ones that don't support Trump, and it's crazy right now. Mike Marino, what's your take on America? Sadly, there is no happy medium. And I think I blame the people in power for the lack of the happy medium because I would know how to smooth things out. Right. I know how to talk to people, you know what I mean? I know how to make people want to enjoy each other, eating each other 
each other's homes, you know? Right. Not everybody wants a windmill and hot dog, but I know the solution to that. I take them to Max's. You see how good I am at putting people together? That's now, the way you do it. Now Listen, I just want to do this real quick, if you don't mind, Greg. Go ahead. By Croftgate North Jersey dot net. Go for it. That's a sponsor right there. www.buycroftgatenorthjersey.net. Guys, you got to check this out. Net. AM Care Company. This, they're, they're unbelievable. Oh, Bro, you know stands behind. Accuratewaterjets.com. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute now. We got all kinds of sponsors on your show that you didn't even hey, know. Hey, everybody, about. reach out, man. We're, we're, we're getting sponsors reach out. over here. I've done it. This but... is coming from Canada. www.accuratewaterjets.com. Nice. And you know what that is? Good, because we don't. Now, go <laughs> buy some. Getting back to the question. What do you think about America? The best way to, to phrase this is what do you think about America's climate? I like that. Climate. 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 Well, Based I like climate. when it's nice out. Nice, warm, sunny day. This guy's never going to answer this question. I always question. ask the question. Never going to answer the question. That's why I make a good press. This is why we always we laugh and we have fun. Blah, blah, blah. But today, I'm trying to get in his head. He won't let me. He won't do it. I, I do have Even if let me get in his head, you won't. People love to argue because if you argue, you get popular. If you don't say anything, nobody knows anything about what you're thinking. And that is the way we should be doing this. See, right now, that is my opinion. That is deep in my head. Right. It sucks when we're on stage performing as comedians. You start tippy-toeing around subject matter. That might piss somebody off. Amen. Can't anybody put on the, the All in the Family? Watch All in the Family. They had the right idea. It was funny as shit. It was I it. Just watch now, we can't do that anymore. We can't do that anymore, but, you know, last week some guy sent in an email saying, I think you're very funny, but you dropped the F-bomb too much. Why do you have to use the F-bomb too much? I said, because I'm from fucking New Jersey. I'm from Leave me alone. Jersey, and it's funny. <laughs> Archie Bunker was the bomb. That's right. He was the bomb. See how people are writing in? It Amen. was a great show. It was funny. I'm the new Archie Bunk. How would you correct way. what's going on, though? Is what I'm asking. If you want to run for president, you're serious about this shit. How would you correct, again, the climate? This is a legitimate question. How would you correct I it? I think when people come out of the woodwork with the nonsense and the silly shit, as president of the United States, I'd say things like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. And they'd bleep it. i keep it clean. Okay. Shut up. Would you say fake news? Well, you know, I guess news is... Like, we have fake news. It's right. called the Inquirer. Amen. Yeah. All right. I so would love to have been asked certain questions. It really? really? You got people asking you questions left and right? No, no. As president, no. if I was running for president of the United States. I think it'd be great. I think, I think you should uh, go on. Honestly, you could just go. Can't you go on like an independent ticket or something? Somebody just wrote, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but can't you go like on, a, on an independent ticket? Shut the fuck up. Didn't, didn't somebody go on D's Wait Nuts? Wait a minute, man. It's just fucking hilarious. Didn't somebody go on D's Nuts? Yeah. Why don't you go? Why don't you actually put in... You'll be famous. I, really, I think I'd rather just have some fun. I don't think I'd really want to be president. Do. Now, who would you be your vice Get president? Get the bat. I'd make you vice president. There we go. That'd be pretty cool. We Greg Carlucci would be the vice president of the United States. Thank you. And he and I would go settle problems in farmlands. And what we would do is we would videotape it. Yes. It would take us a long time to we figure out how to videotape it, but then we would make it happen. Amen. And then you would get all these questions that people are writing in nice. Watch. Hey, Greg, here comes another question, right? What's up? Vinny, hit him with the bat. Is he dead? Good. Steal the rugs. The walls. Oh, that's hilarious. Did he write that? Ah, that's he's, awesome. He's impersonating me. I put that up. Thank yeah. you, Nick. See, I put that up on my Instagram. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Of your thing. Oh, yeah. So, guys, let me tell you a quick story. Nice. Really quick. All right? So I'm. T there's all these different outlets now. I want to film shit too, but now I gotta concentrate. So Mike. Like, so hold on. So we got this. We got this. So we're good to go afterwards. Um, Mike Marino. You guys all know him. And it's a funny story because I've had a lot of people on. A lot of people have done a lot of great things throughout the years. Blah blah. But Mike, what's his story? One night I was sitting there about four years ago. It was like three o'clock in the morning. What the hell's the name of that show? Comedy. Comics Unleashed. Comics Unleashed. And I see. I just happened to stumble upon this bit. And I see this and I stop. And I go, who the fuck is this guy? And then I said to myself, gotta get him on my show. How am I? I was like, never gonna happen. Thank never you. gonna I, contact I this guy. I appreciate that. And he's in my house. And I'm in his 
his house now, playing with the dog. And then we're going for hot dogs. Now the dogs. That's unbelievable. He saw me on TV. The dogs. Contact me. Probably thought I would never come to his podcast, and I did. I came right to the podcast. Came twice, brother. A few times. Three times. Driving an hour and a half to get over there. But listen to this. Here's up. This guy Trey Cool Three. Trey Cool Seventy Six. Trey Cool Three. Seventy Six. Listen, if you ran for president, we should call you boss instead of Mister President. (laughs) Boss, <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's good. That I'm, is good. I'm putting that in the app. I love that. Got you. it. How you doing, How you doing meeting? That is great. Like, is How you doing, Mr. President? Are you ready for your meeting? Ladies and gentlemen. The boss. The boss. <laughs> I love that. Look, the good. boss of the United States. 76. He was born my year. The boss of the smart. United States. Oh, Dude, I so got to write that. Hey, Trey, cool, man. Trey, cool. You're cool. You got to keep watching this show, That's my year, too. I'm sure it's his birth year. I don't know what that means. That's his birth year. Yeah? 42, represent. I'm running for boss of the United States. That's awesome. That is... We just invented something. Don Marino. Cool, dude. Uh, dun, 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 Don Marino. Marino. Don Marino. Hey, Vice President Luch. No, you'd be under boss. Under boss. You'd be great. the underboss. I boss. can't wait. Let's See? do it. We should, do, we, should go on this, we should go on this ticket. We should do it. We have a ticket. It's called Make America Italian Again. Yes. You don't know none. You didn't see none. You don't say nothing. And that's don't the way we run in the United States. Don't say a word. Yeah. And anyway, we what happened to Putin? When we meet with Putin, what do we have? Ravioli's in the A sit down. Okay, here's another, here's another email from a, a fan here. I say you have an Italian American Sunday that? dinner for the whole country. <laughs> Cook two hundred grandmothers. Two, cook by two hundred grandmothers that would solve all the problems. I'm not, see, I'm not, you're fucking right. Hey Joanna, you are the him. best. Just read them. I can't. Could you? Hey, no way. Because he's Italian too. He's getting all of this shit. This is an Italian. Talk and I'm show. in the garbage business. So yeah. I, I, so I love this stuff. Then we could make Sunday National Macaroni Day. Because <laughs> I hear people talking like this all the fucking time. <laughs> hey, seriously though, no. could you imagine? I don't know why everybody's so angry. Mommy, make us something to eat Ugh. on a Sunday. Ugh. Sunday, national you're, you're macaroni day. Sunday as Sunday dinner <laughs> boss. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, everybody. Ladies this is some weird really shit. I'm boss. running for boss of the United and, States. And this is the underboss. And, and then the accountant's going to be the accountant. They would change, they would change <laughs> the music. I was going to wear my Godfather shirt tonight. I didn't, yeah. I, I, didn't have, I didn't wear it. But they changed it to... Uh, yeah. And you sit there, up there like this. How you doing? How you doing? And then everybody has to put a dollar on the sink <laughs> to make millions of dollars. This is this is great. You're so saying, listen, you know, these people are talking about. Just let them let, 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 let my audience see how you decorated. Boom, the Godfather. The Godfather. Look at right? that over That's there. It. But how about over here? And then they sit down. We got to sit down there. Yeah. And then we got that one. That's that's the best. And then we'll be in videotape. Which one? Oh yeah. Oh, look right at all of them. And it might be, what it was like, someday. And that day may never come. I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But until that day, accept this justice as a gift. Nice. Oh, right. This is like my play, my man cave upstairs, though. You saw my man cave. You saw my domain down there. With all that shit. Trench coats, trench coats and fedoras for everyone. <laughs> Imagine that. You come walking out on stage. I'm the new president my, of the United States. My, a trench coat. My, my favorite part of this is just us going, how you doing? Hey, like instead of the president going like this and hi, how are you? Angel. See, he's saying too, the national anthem would be the Godfather yeah. theme. Uh, it's what we do with the, the, like just think you're, you're, the, you're, you know when you come in for um, uh, <laughs> into Congress when you do the State of the yeah. Union, and it's like, do they play music? No, they don't. But the guy's like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the boss. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then you like, you, so Mike, talk to your audience, sworn in. talk to your audience, all right, now we're going to transition like we did before, okay? Serious subject. Mike, Mike no, Mike has, we, we've gotten into different uh, aspects of technology, we've talked, okay? And we talked about, and everybody can agree, especially my boy 76, uh, you know, uh, you're what, 64, 66, Mikey? 65? I was born in the uh, <coughs> in the 60s. And I'm on the so Mike has this epic video of him with, with the short white shorts and the high tops, you know, and the, and the part in the middle and the hair in the back. And the good old days. It's awesome. Back in 1985. And my thing was, not only was it awesome because, you know, you didn't have to worry about posting shit. We don't have to get into that. Everybody knows that. But I asked Mike, what do you think about the millennials these days? And I said, this is the first time in history where it's cooler to be 40 than it is to be 20. <laughs> 
I stand behind that. I left gyms because of this shit. You know what I'm talking about. It was a great time. The selfies, days. the videos, the we man danced. body. We danced. We would talk. You, you went. You know how? You know what you had to do in the eighties? What you When you met a girl, you had to meet her in the club and ask her if she wanted to dance. And then you had to ask call her if father. She wanted to drink. And then you got a little bit of a phone number on a piece of paper, yep. and you hope it was the real number. And then you had to call her father. Answer. Remember that? Yup. Look at all this great stuff. It's beautiful. Sir, we can't change the national anthem. Are you sure? Here's an extra 200. This is for you. Very good, Heather. That's very, very good fun. Good job, Heather. Look at this. It's Uncle Vinny joins. This, this is now, Say this is not the Carlucci show. This is the Mike Marino Instagram show in, in the, in the, in the loft, studio. in the Carlucci studio loft. 400 million cannolis, a few hundred tons of pasta and sauce, and bada bing, inked to the Italian group therapy. <laughs> I still love the boss. Come on, man. This I love is, Sunday dinner. That is hilarious. I love Sunday dinner. What's up, Uncle Vinny? Uncle Vinny. Hey, no. hey, everybody. I want you guys to have <laughs> some fun with us today. This is We're going to have a serious subject matter, but just turn it. Look, it's gravy, not sauce. Now, this is going to be an argument. Oh, no, it's sauce. going to be an argument. Going to start Did you say sauce? sauce? Yeah. See, my parents came over from Italy and they said, no, my grandmother said gravy, I think. You're right. But it's sauce. Do you know that here in, in New Jersey now, they actually have jars that say Jersey Italian Gravy. And it's sauce, of course. But It's sauce, dude. See, well, yeah, I was, well, my mother was from uh, Abruzzi. I'm Abruzzese. And my mother always would say it's gravy because That's gravy sauce. had meat in it. Gravy the way goes she on, made it. Gravy goes on pot roast. Look, somebody just said salsa. Get the dog. Get the dog. <laughs> I, uh, Mike's going to start crying. Great. Like, I can't. I can't. I got him pissed off. You were pissed off before. We was a little annoyed. I said, now Mike, I, I, said I got mad. I said, Mike, I can't fucking do this. And you go, you got all done on me. You went, you want me to fucking open up? And then put the dog downstairs. Get rid of the dog. Get rid of the dog. He he goes, Here's one from a movie. Dog. What movie is this? What? Get rid of the dog, man. Get rid of the dog. De Niro house, said it. De Niro said it. I'm Midnight Run. Get rid of the dog. Uh, Get rid of the dog. Run. Good movie. <laughs> Look at this. I'm a Brutes too. A Ringo Calabria. I'm not Lacan or something. Isn't that great? You don't know what you want? Yeah, you know, we're. Uh, I hear all different things. I'm a Brutes. Okay. Now, he also had some serious questions about my personal life. Uh, I Lay it on, Mike. You 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 Lay can't on. you can't ask you these questions now because you're 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 talking to your fans, so it's not. This isn't an intimate one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this is a one-on uh, a thousand. Millions. Millions. One-on millions. One-on millions. You can ask me. Ask me. What do you want to know? <clears throat> because now you're getting new fans to what watch is, your guys, show. Guys, just always look for the Carlucci Show. I'm back uh, doing it. You look at my website. Look at my, my YouTube. Uh, subscribe, please. And all that shit. And my Facebook. Well, tell everybody. That's Lay it on. It's all the Carlucci Show. Instagram, the Carlucci Show. YouTube, the Carlucci Show. I'm going to film this. The um, Carlucci Show. C -A -R -C -C very nice Italian film. Go to my website, you'll see all the old guests, you'll see in the comedy world, you'll see Vicky Potato, he did it three times, uh, great guy. Um, you'll see uh, Fred Rubino. Fred Rubino is a great Rubino. comedian. Great Vic comedian. Vicky Potato is a very, very, yeah, very great comedian. Are. Johnny Saliano, uh, John, uh, what, what's, Goomba uh, Johnny? Oh, is that his real name? Johnny, I didn't even Johnny know that. Saliano, yeah. In the comedian Goomba John. world. Uh, I had, uh, what's his name? Fucking uh, James Saliva. You see, look, I'm gonna go throw him a follow. Thank you, Uncle. My ben. man, thank you. This thank you. <laughs> I don't have the following. Ooh, watch out! He just broke something. I already broke my phone before. I uh, don't have the following that Marino does. You gonna now? No, nah, because I was I talking never, to my friend about that. Because I never wanted to have a following. We might, Italian. Mike, I don't want now, anybody following. Now we gotta worry about following. When I started this nine years ago, you weren't about followers and fucking. Subscribers, you were just doing shows. Yeah, well, celebrity yeah. guests. Now it's like, how is that? You can't come on our network because you don't have enough subscribers. I don't fucking. And then you gotta pay for. You can pay for them. So what's the big deal? I never bought any followers. I yeah, just paid all the jet or something. I don't know. Whatever. The one clip I did on the uh, the, the show, the Byron Allen show, hit eleven point eight million. But it was on somebody else's show, so you really don't cash in. But what you do is you get some fans, the fans come see you live, and right. then you get to see a real show. So if anybody wants to come and see me live, please just go to MikeMarino.net, pick a show that's in it your area, sauce. and come just on down. Right. Look at Billy Graziano. What a great, great name. Isn't that a great name? Graziano. Anthony Rodia? 
Is it funny? Yeah, see, there's, a, there's a guy here, Paul, Paul Caponata. He says, gravy is great on roast beef, turkey stuffing, and mashed potatoes. Thank you. Let That's the exactly fight right. begin. That's right. Hey, I like gravy on my meat, so but I like gravy on my macaroni. I'm going to just uh, erase that. There's um, marinara sauce. Marinara, marinara sauce. sauce. Who says marinara sauce? sauce? That's like water. Same product. Marinara. Okay, listen, you get yourself a sponsor there, Craig. I want you paying attention? What, what are they doing? Um, yes, he would look good in a nice shirt like this, Mike. Let's get it to yes, him. Yes, Mike. I'm looking for sponsors now. I want to quit my day job and just do this full blow. Check what out size, my desk. What size uh, shirt? XL. I'm not XXL. Extra large for uh, Mr. Carlucci, and he'll wear it when he does his broadcasting. Mike, let's make that happen. Uh, Mike, I believe you know my phone number. Give me a call. We can make that happen. Mike, let's make that happen. Boss MVP. He's <laughs> so plugged, left my ass off. Underboss. It's Uncle Vinny. Hey, Uncle Vinny. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Hey, listen, anybody, if you want to get in touch with me, and I'll get in touch with uh, Mr. Carlucci, go to 323 883 1607. I dare you. That's my phone number. 323 883 1607. Let's really make number? some shit happen. Is that really your number? Yeah. It's not my cell phone number. I don't think anybody can really text me. But um, I guess you can find my cell phone number if you're on Facebook. I don't know. Follow me. Right now. It's Follow crazy. me on Mike Marino Live on Facebook. Mike Marino Live. Carlucci right here. Show. Carlucci Show. Everywhere. Me and Mike have a long history. It's been fun. We have history. You know why? Because we're Italian. Our history goes all the way back to when Columbus came over and discovered the American island. He said, hey, look at this. This is nice. Nobody's here. You know where Christopher Columbus first came? Mike, do, what do you think Long about branch. The, what do you think about the ocean breeze coming in on the side of your? It smells your bald so spot. good. Is the that breeze beautiful? coming in the window right now? Right against the bald spot. <laughs> Am I a fuck? Where'd my hair go, you sons of bitches? I'm Italian. My hair fucking draped off the back of my head down to my head. Um, he wanted to ask me these what? serious questions. But no, we Mike, we're not. Mike, right, so a lot of fun. look. Fun you know good. what I wanted to ask you, Mike, also, yes. too, to get, you know, I try to ask you about millennials, and that's not going anywhere. It's like, this is like, this is like the type of show where there's no flow, so you got to ask them questions every now and then. This is well, this but is a flow. This, this is, is better. I like this. Flow. I like this. But I'm going to ask you, you did Jay Leno back in the day a million times, correct? Okay? Correct? Uh, I was on a Tonight Show many, many times, yes. Jay Leno? Jay Leno. Okay. You went, I thought you had a stroke or so you just went silent. Because somebody just wrote, if I sent you a text, my bill would hit the sky. Trade cool three. Why? Where are you? And you can't text that number. It's a service. Boss man. Where? Yeah, boss. See? Where are you? What, what country are you in? So you got people writing into the show right now who are from Finland, um, Australia. What's up, some guys? friends from Spain. All over the world on the Carlucci Show tonight. That's right. So write on in. Ask a question if you want to know something. The great and powerful Carlucci will answer any question. Yeah, it should just be like, ask us questions now. I mean, fuck it. I'm not asking anything anymore. You don't answer my questions. I answer the questions. He wants to know, am I dating anybody? I says, no, I asked you. The only thing I ask you, sometimes I ask the guests or anything I can't. You know, sometimes you Google them and you find out. Get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's saying he's writing in from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Dude, are you really writing in from Saudi Arabia? Come on. Is his family from Newark? Your family from Newark? No. They're not. There's a ton of Carluccis everywhere. There's a lot of Carluccis. I always get it. This should be a jingle. This is the Carlucci this show. Is, yeah, right? Well, I can't play my intro. My intro's hilarious. He's not from Newark. And this guy's writing in from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> What's up, Saudi Arabia? See nothing, hear nothing. What? Amen. I worked that out. Boss. All right. So, Alyssa, so talk to me. he really wants to ask me some serious questions. I don't want to ask Nobody asks me, but Mike, I asked you. Boom. Right, let, me, let me ask you this question, Mike, seriously. You just mentioned it. Do you, how, you, you're, you're, you know, quite up there a little bit in age. I'd like to see you get married. You thinking about marriage? Have you met any nice girls? Have you settled down? Or are you going to settle down? The question is marriage. First of all, Look, he really is from Saudi Arabia. That's yeah. awesome. He's saying he's not joking. Holy shit. There's a lot of shows out there in Saudi Arabia, that's so far. I want to come out there. Noor, you know Mo Dickstein? Oh, that's, um, Mo Dickstein is, uh, Joe Piscopo. Joe Piscopo played Joe Dickstein 
on a on a Didn't you show show show? yeah. I was just on uh, his show, but I'm pretty sure that had something to do with Joe Piscopo. Nice to talk to somebody from Saudi Arabia. That's that's really badass. All over the world tonight. They want to know if I've ever been married. Do I ever think about getting? I want to know if you ever want to get married. I would love to get married. There you go. I would love to so be married. I. I would love to have kids. You would have. Something kids. happened in my life that it just never happened. It never happened. You got into I don't entertainment. Know why. You got into entertainment. It could be the entertainment That's business. Why. I've been around the world entertaining. Mm -hmm. There were some people that I wanted to marry. Recently, I was thinking I was going to get married, but the question of children came up, and I was told that I might be too old to have children. You're I not mean, too old. That's a myth. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm sure I might be able to make children. Well, I was even told I wouldn't be able to make children because I went to see a doctor, and he says there's no no power in the thing there, <laughs> and uh, I shoot blanks. But you know. Oh. I I just it just didn't happen. Mike, so. I want you to settle down. I want you to meet the right girl. This sounds like an older an older uh, no, Jew, doing an old Jewish uh, grandmother. No, it's like the I want you to settle down. I'm I I wake I, I settle down every night. I wake up, I'm free. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> That's like you and your mom in the, in the basement. Maybe one of these days I will get to that level that I want to be at, and I'll sit down and have a nice. Family. <laughs> no, I'll Chris, marry you, but I'll never home always. Christian, we decided. I love Christian. We decided to do the show like this. Hey, wait a minute, man. Somebody just said they'll marry me. They'll marry you. I'll Mike's done my show once a time, bro. I love you. But You're coming I'm back never now. home. We're talking to the world right now. Yeah. Where are, are you, TT Mint? You're right behind me. You see it? There you are. Look, oh, Christian. See that? Oh, wow. Commonwealth, my guess. Commonwealth, guys. Let me tell the world, Christian. Check out Commonwealth, biggest up and coming band coming out of New Jersey. <laughs> awesome. I don't remember the names of their songs, but they're fucking awesome. Who? Uh, Commonwealth. It's the name of the band. Commonwealth came out of New Jersey. Yeah, you can go on YouTube. You'll hear the videos. They got fifty thousand hits. But Christian, I'm talking to the singer right now. Why are you laughing out loud? Tell me, a, tell me a hit that they can listen to. That's such a Let me tell you interview. something. Hell yeah, man. You know, you know this. A lot of talented people come out of New Jersey. Amen. We can name them like you Mike have Marino, no idea. Mike Marino, Greg Carlucci. I would like to say Mike Marino, Greg Carlucci. But what about the legend himself, Bruce Springsteen? Amen. John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. That's music. Who else is in music from New Jersey? Come on. Pretty soon, Christian Four Carson, seasons. right? Four Seasons. Who? That is my buddy from Commonwealth. These are the posters right there. They're awesome. Oh, nice. The Commonwealth. They're just on uh, the rack. Group. Like the, the band of the week or something. On the rack? Yeah. Can I have been I haven't been I've on a rack. It's right around the corner from here. The Frank Sinatra. Oh, I was just schooled. I'm Hoboken. How the fuck do we get Frank I lived right across the street from, um, uh, uh, where was it? The town hall. For some reason, Sinatra, like, performed there or something. I don't know. I used to live in Hoboken. Frank Sinatra. That's right. Who else are the big names that came out of New Jersey? Mm -hmm. Actors? Billy? Joel, right? No, no, no Billy Joel is Long Island. He's Long Island. Pretty sure, but that's close enough. Uh, uh, I am not Italian, what the fuck? <laughs> you talking about recording artists? No, any talent. Any um, talent. Uh, uh, oh, what's that girl's name? She's an Oscar winner. Uh, Danny Aiello. Danny Aiello. Danny DeVito. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Danny DeVito. Joe Pesci. Is Pesci Jersey guy? Yes! Joe yes. Pesci, 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 fuck it. Look at all these yeah. Jersey talents. You know why? Because we live hard. Right. We live hard. Because we party at the Jersey Shore during the summer. Yes, and then we right. go up north and freeze our asses exactly. off. And that's why we say fuck, because it's cold. Because it's fucking cold. You try living on the beach, you have no idea how cold it is on the ocean. Try waking up in the morning at zero degrees outside and say, boy, is it chilly? No. You're, gonna you're always on a cruise, like way up in Alaska. It's got to be balls cold out there. It is, but you and that's during the summer. So yeah. you can't imagine what it's like when you go out there during the winter. I can't even. Your balls must. That's why you probably lost. Whitney your Houston. Whitney Houston. Newark, New Jersey, and also Shaquille O'Neal. Joe Piscopo. We Joe were talking Piscopo. about Piscopo before. Shaquille O'Neal. He's up the road from me. No shit. John Travolta. Why did we forget John Travolta? Travolta? I didn't know he was. I thought he was from the Bronx. I grew up on the beach in Long Beach. Long mm. Beach. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, Glen Ridge, New, New Jersey. Jersey, dude. Glen Ridge, New Jersey. He's from Glen Ridge. No it's shit. I thought he was from West Orange. The lighting here looks great. You look great. Look. Boom. Look at you. I got black and white. I'm going to do a close-up now on the host of the show. We're on 95.9 The Rat tonight. Look. What's up, guys? Check out the poster behind us. You're on there. So, yeah. Check out 95.9. Uh, what time, Christian? 
I'm filming, look at it, we're such idiots. I'm filming you, it's like, you know when the cops come up to you and you know, the, you're filming me, I'm filming you. We're all filming everybody. We're all filming each other, they're filming us. But Abbott there. is from New Jersey, that's right, and so was Lou Costello. Lou Costello, I have no idea who that is. Lou Costello is in the uh, stand-up comedy Hall of Fame with yours truly and Jerry Lewis. You're in the New Jersey Hall of Fame? New Jersey Comedy Hall of Fame. Are you really? Yes. You guys do look good. Great lighting, interesting set. <laughs> exactly. You this should see what, you what happens when a dog comes up. This is what you call from your home. Like, I could, I should paint the wall and I could have like a nice little black thing over there. I don't fucking care. We're not even using the $700 on the equipment. We're just on the camera. That's it. We can, Mike, we can make it look like we're doing a radio show, right? Like this? We are doing a radio show. How you doing? Oh, we forgot to use the microphones. Uh-oh. No, hey, we're hey, recording hey, actually hey, right hey. now. Eco effect. Um... So yeah, there's really nothing to ask. Mike is having a good time with his audience. Guys, thanks for fucking coming on, man, all over the world. Last time we did the same thing in my Ewing living room and we had people all over the world. Mike, he's a, he's a stud, right? That's well, all I don't I'm a stud anymore because obviously I didn't get married and I'm shooting blanks. You shoot blanks, yeah. But we're having some fun and that's what the world really needs. Guys like us that make you chuckle and laugh and smile Amen. and stop watching the regular news Amen. that's saying stupid shit. That's why I think that, Mike, I think you should, I, I, even as not even a joke, you should run. Be the D's nuts guy. I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. I'm going to run for president in 2020. Boss. In fact, we're making a TV series right now. Ladies and gentlemen, know. the boss. The boss. The boss. Dang, dang. Yeah, and you know what? Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I'm the boss. That. Bruce Springsteen. I'll be the boss too. Mike, you always make me laugh. Have to work man. my flight. Teresa from Wall. Can't wait to see you. <clears throat> well, Teresa, Teresa from your... Wall instant message me so that I can send you some complimentary tickets to my show. Instant message me and I'll write you back. I really wanted to ask this to an Italian. What does Avante Savio mean? Do you know? Avante Savio? I speak yeah. a little Italian too. No, no idea. Avante Savio mean. What's that? I don't know, brother. From uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. Guy, just, if anybody's out there watching, ask this question. Maybe you can answer this Italian question. You got two Gavones from Italy, can't even speak Italian. This is really just sad. A volta molto la birra tutta la notte. Yeah, that sounded really nice. A vo no, a voglia. A voglia molto la birra tutta la notte. A bas a basta così, a letto. I know, I know how to say Stop everything is great. I know how to say shut up. I know, how, I know how to tell you go fuck yourself. About fun food. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I said that to my mother once when I was a little kid. I knocked on her door. She goes, what? I go, ma, va fun food. She went, bananas. Yeah, right, man. I just, See, I was four years old, I heard it, so I just said it. I didn't know what it meant. But that's your answer to the millennial problem. Millennials get away with shit that we never would have gotten away with. Millennials make teachers petrified. They make their parents petrified. What's the deal when with I the man buns? Man, the man buns is worse. It's worse than the mullet, dude. Yeah, man bun. Worse than the mullet. And then if I was to make fun of the man bun and say, you're just jealous, I'm like, no. If I had enough hair to cover the top of my head, I'd have a nice cut. None of that fucking ball on the top of my head. I, maybe that's a good thing that I'm not a parent. Because if I was married and I had kids and my daughter brought home a guy with a man bun, I would beat the shit out of everybody. Beat the shit out, exactly. Get the hell out of my house. And then I'd pour gravy all over them. Do you, do you work out? Do you go to gyms? I go to the gym. Look at me. Do you see... Man, that's our picture. I put that up. Me and you do yes. flexing. Guns. Do you see... I left two gyms. I, I got charged hundreds of dollars. I left two gyms because I could not take it anymore. I couldn't. 20 some years in gyms, I couldn't take it anymore. You saw, I lived downstairs. Why? Because the, the gyms Because everybody is a personal trainer now. People know exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody's a personal trainer. Everybody's got their own YouTube channel. Everybody's a bodybuilder. Everybody's <laughs> Snapchat and all sort of bullshit. Sure. So every time you're doing something, you're in somebody's shop. Yeah. And everybody's, you know, they drop, they put their phone down, they do, okay, so this is what we do. And it's like, shut up and just lift. But it's the same everywhere, Mike. Like we talked about, concerts. <laughs> Shut up, put your phone down and watch it. I told you, I went to Metallica first row. Would you know? No, because it was 1996. You don't think I'd love to put it on social media Metallica. and talk about it? I was, I could have touched his fucking leg. I mean, I've been to other Metallica concerts, but I was in the front row. Imagine how that looked. But what do we do? We're not bringing cameras. 
We're not like, oh, oh wow. <laughs> One second. I never thought I'd get to the edge where I would say the good old days. It is. I'm telling you, man. That's why I'm going to be president. You, went, back out, fax machine. you went out and you enjoyed your life. Now, I'm not saying it's not cool to be able to. The one thing I regret is not having this when I played sports. That's it. Because you can, you know, play a game and you can upload your shit to Facebook. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's cool. You could have videotaped your life back in the day. Now we have to videotape it now. But Mike, you know damn well if we had these phones when we were in college or back we in the day. We would all be in jail. We would be in jail. There'd be nothing. I would videotape day. everything. They'd be, they'd, they'd be I was videotaping phone. before. You people didn't get to see. I was getting eaten by a dog. There was, yeah. <laughs> that was the, the most <laughs> unsuccessful show I think I've ever had. Mike was as closed off as they come. But now we're this. getting some serious ads. Because and I, everybody's writing because, in. Because and everybody's having fun. I should not and he's going to get a sponsorship now. I should be the VP because I took control. I took control. He took control. Who cares? So what else, Mike? Come on, man. I think that's about it. You've been, been here for an hour. For an hour and a half time. now. You get a lot of people are writing. Back in the day when we understood the lyrics to the songs. Amen. And the songs. Do you remember when you message. understood, when you remembered your mom's phone number? I still do, like your home number. Yes. Remember when you had to call someone and you had to know the number? Yes. Remember that, huh? Now we don't know nothing. Please. Now if your phone went dead, you'd die. <laughs> and you ever like go in your closet and see those old phone books? Yeah. And you got all the people's phone. names and shit. Remember that? I still got my phone book. It I wasn't even I phone thumbed book. through my black book to remind me who I need to call. Mike, I don't mean to get on the tangent with this, but just think about this too. I have a bin, okay, full of thousands, hundreds, maybe a thousand pictures from all like 2000s, short houses, everything we did. The only way to see these pictures is if somebody came over, they would go through the bin. They, you're like, hey, don't get fingerprints on it. Forget about a bikini. You want to see a girl that you know in a bikini? I mean, you got to fucking sneak in a room, go in her closet. Over now, it, it doesn't matter. Everything you do within a second, the world sees. Can you imagine that? Now we got to take all of our pictures. Like right now, <laughs> exactly, all over the world. We got to take our pictures. I know you probably have a million too, and we have to upload them, scan them. You know, you, I know you're too lazy to do it. I'm too lazy to do it. So my things, all my pictures sit in a bit. Listen to this question. You ready for this? I'll let, I'll let him answer the question. How do you feel about tongue in a chick's tailpipe? <laughs> it's called the Third Eye Club Provolone Cheese Committee. We've been there, done that. It's like a fruit. You gotta clean it before you eat it. Next question. <laughs> I still have my phone books and boxes of phones. Now everything is on my iPhone. Uh, yeah. Um, listen. Then, but we take pictures and then we don't know where they are. We're both Italian, so we know how to take care of what we need to take care of. See how I just answered that question? Yeah. Huh? Huh? And that's it. But listen, you know what? I personally need to get going because I got another hour and a half drive. Because he and after doing this window. podcast, I'm so hungry. I want to go play with the dog, and then I'm going to go have some hot that dogs at the windmill, and the dog is going to have 42 hot dogs. That's so true. now, why don't we tell everybody how we can watch our ongoing Oh, here comes a long one. Remember when you learned from the nuns and feared the ruler? Yes, yeah. of course. Remember when we got hit? My father used to beat the shit out of us with the strap. There's no diapers. Remember they went, they made the move for the belt like this. That's like that belt. Here we go. <laughs> yup. You heard that. Ta -ta. And it was me and my brothers and it became a game. We would, we would fuck with them. We'd go, na, 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 na. Yep. And then we'd all take off, we'd hide, and we'd catch one of us. And then the other two would be in the background laughing. It was fun. Good time. Hey, listen. Guys. Here comes a really cool shout out to Hilltop Winery. And I've been trying to get in touch with you. We're supposed to have lunch this week, so let's make sure to be happy. I'd love to have you come down here on the Carlucci Show. And you can hang out with us. You can bring the homemade wine. Amen. Because we're both the kind. We'd love like to enjoy that. Also. And we talk. Yes, my parents just gave us a dirty look. My father would give us the look and we knew we were going to get our asses kicked. <laughs> the, the look, exactly. Look at everybody writing into the show. It's getting crazy now. It is. It's getting crazier and crazier. Like crazy crazy. I like this. I want your yeah. audience. I remember I used to think I could outrun my parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know no, what? They hit you with the belt. Did, 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 wow. did you ever hear this one? Do you have any siblings? I don't. Oh, well, you got two brothers, yes. Well, you, it's not something you forget. You just said I don't. Well, I thought you meant they had sisters for some reason. Oh, okay. But
But so I have two older brothers that used to kick the shit out of me when I was little. And yeah. My father always said, "You little bastards, you wait until this guy gets older. He's gonna kick both your asses at the same time." <laughs> the rest is history. Well, I'll say, I'll say. And listen, folks, I want to do a nice big shout out and a thanks for Mr. Carlucci for having me all the way down. Boy, that's why I am branch to be on this show. And I want you all to go to his show. Jack and Nicholson. Watch. Jack Nicholson, Jersey guy. See, we can never end this show. Baseball. You got too much going on. Sports. Yeah. Guys, listen, from New Jersey. I would love to have you guys come on board. I've had Mike on three times. My website's www.thecarlucciashow.com. I haven't really done anything on it in a, in a while, but you'll see all the pictures. You'll see, you can go see old videos. You, uh, you, you, you can see all pictures all the way back to 2010. But all the celebrity guests, great time. Um, I used to do this before everybody, even Mike Marino's a podcaster now. You know, everybody and their grandmother is a podcaster. But I'm first and foremost a comedian. So everybody go to www.thecarlucciashow.com. Is that correct? Yeah, and in my YouTube channel, please subscribe to The Carlucci Show. That's where this is going to be. You know, it's The Carlucci Show on Facebook, uh, The Carlucci Show on Instagram. And if you ever want to look at my shows, if you actually, this is why I got to get this all together. I'm on Ustream. Ustream TV. Just type in the Carlucci Show and there's 150 shows. My old shows at Mikey. It's good stuff. I got to get this all arranged. I took about a year off. He's going to get it all arranged and we're going to get this shit back together. Amen. Look at everybody writing in right now. Um, thank you so much for saying all these wonderful things. Yes, this was a great show. We did have a lot of fun. Keep on watching, folks. Follow me on every social media. Mike Marino Live. At Mike Marino Live. Twitter. Uh, Facebook, Facebook of course. All of this good stuff. And don't forget, I'm coming into your neighborhood. The Make America Italian Again Tour is going worldwide. And I'm not stopping until we get there. Boss. So go to MikeMarino.net and watch me become the boss. Remember, you don't know none. You don't see none. You don't say none. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts? By saying the same thing. Don't take no shit from nobody. Don't take shit from nobody. So long, everybody. Guys, see ya. All right, I'm going to stop that Facebook Live. Um, Christian, you came on right after the world just left. Uh, now you know the rest are tonight at 11 p.m. Everybody watching, check out The Rat tonight, 95.9 at 11 p.m. Three straight nights with uh, my, my guest, Comic Rock, Mike Marino. Hey, man, we had a lot that of fun. fun. This was man. great as shit. That was a fun. lot of people coming in, writing, and we answered all great. kinds of great questions. We're having some fun. We That's what fun. it's got to be. You know, I love intense questions. That's really, really nice and everything. But you know what? We're in a good mood today. He did the right thing. The intense because questions. Because I, have have, have I wanted to have the sit down with you tonight. It, 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 it would have worked if the dog wasn't busting your balls. Yeah, the dog's that, scared me. I'm afraid of dogs. Up. And it's not the first time. But, I'm uh, afraid of dogs. He's got a big dog. Guys know Titan. Everybody knows Titan. The car lets you show live tonight with the Mike Marino three times. Mike, I appreciate you driving all the way down here. Uh, it's an honor to have. It's a privilege to have you on the show. And, um, you know, you guys are the best. That's all I can say. But uh, I'm coming to your next show, by the way. And then we got to get stuff going. Absolutely. I think me and you should just do a show together. I'll come to your fucking house. We'll do it. And somebody just created a new website for me. That's awesome. Guys, see you next week. So long, everybody. Uh. Oh, God. Finish.